So, Twitter. We're still talking about it. Thank you for the turn signal. We love people who use their turn signal. I can only assume that they're good people. They might not be. They might be terrible people, and I just jumped to the conclusion that they were a good person all because they did something that I liked. You know, that's confirmation bias right there. Anyway. Yeah, so Twitter was created to completely throw out context. So, it wasn't just created... Oh, I'm glad I looked that time. That was good. That was good that I looked. I almost got plowed into by an SUV. Anyway. Yeah, so... Not only was Twitter designed to... Toss context to the curb, but also to toss self-control to the curb. In case you haven't noticed, people on Twitter do not have self-control, like at all. I mean, I just see that, like in a thread. You know, like how people have to comment on something. They have to comment on somebody else's tweet. You know my feelings on these people. <laughs> I don't even have to say it. But I will say it. I think that they should just kill themselves. Really. Really. Because... They're so boring. Can you imagine just like existing on planet Earth? and just thinking to yourself, you know what, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to grow. I don't have to evolve. I don't have to change and try to become a better person. That's everybody else's responsibility. I've stopped growing. That's like everybody. Everybody's infantilized. And when I say everybody, I don't literally mean everybody, okay? We have this tendency to generalize, not just because we're schizo, but because we do stand-up comedy, and that's kind of a thing that's allowed, so shut the hell up. You don't do it. But anyway... I talking about before I went on another rant. People try to tell me what to do. I just can't help but notice that all the people that try to tell me what to do are either miserable sacks of shit or they're just doing the same shit that everybody else is doing. You know? It's like, why do you even watch me, man? Like, what's the appeal to me? Is the appeal to me that I'm like other girls? Does he appeal to me that I'm like every other stupid piece of shit American? Probably not, dude. Probably not. <sighs> so. Original point. Twitter destroys context and self-control. Facebook destroys relationships with friends and family. Instagram destroys our sense of self. Our idea of who we are. Now I feel like there have been conservative sites, you know, Gab is one of them, that have tried to be some sort of rebuttal website to the censorship that has occurred on all these other sites. Here's what I don't understand about that. If you really believe that like censorship is, is terrible, and you know, I agree with you. I hate it too. I mean, I'm a comedian. I kind of sort of have to hate censorship. And anybody that doesn't hate censorship that's an artist is not a fucking artist and they should just kill themselves. But anyway, I have to like super glue my thoughts. <laughs> I have to figure out a way to like make my thoughts stick to me so they won't I need to like put them on a leash or something so that I won't lose them you're talking about social networks and I you know, gab gab okay so what's the other one 
What's the one that like Trump came up with? Uh, uh Getter or something like that. <laughs> Some stupid ass name. Um, yeah, well, so you have these like rebuttal social media sites that supposedly won't censor you, right? Supposedly. And then these like so-called conservatives can gloat about how they got kicked off Twitter and how they only use Gab or they only use Telegram. If you actually cared about society and if you were actually conservative, you wouldn't use any of those sites because you'd realize that those sites only help your enemy. Those sites do not help people on the right. They help people on the left. When do they go and realize this shit? You enjoy it. You enjoy social media. Just admit that shit. You're just as controlled by it as the left. Everybody that's on Gab or Telegram, they're probably on a government watch list or something. You know, so I don't really understand, like, how they can see that as a win. Like, oh, they're free. They're free to say whatever they want on this communist social network. They're free. The fact that you're allowing your freedom to be hijacked by social media is just pathetic. But, you know, they're all controlled by FOMO, are they not? I mean, that's really why people do most of the things that they do that don't make a lick of sense. It's because all these other people are doing shit that don't make a lick of sense, so, you know, they want to fit in with those motherfuckers for reasons I'll never understand. But, it's like, you know, I, I, I get it from the particular aspect of, like, you know, this is my kid's graduation, and I want everybody in the family to see these photos and blah 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 I mean whatever man sheep more sheep bullshit but yeah we don't we don't get stuff like that we, we tend to shit all over things that y'all do that you think are important and fun and make you a, a worthwhile individual okay we tend to shit all over that But that's, that's just the way we're wired, you know? Like, I can't imagine not being that way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you have to do something about that. That is the sound of do something about this, please. Right. 